Hello guys, today I want to talk about exceptions and try catch blocks in Laravel. So when should you use try catch instead of just doing if else or checking with simple like if conditions. And I want to show you five examples from Laravel framework itself. So here's the first example and based on that I will tell you the theory. So try catch is usually used when you are not in control of what happens inside of the methods inside of the try block. So in most cases, this code is not written by yourself. It could be some other developer on your team, some other vendor, external API, maybe core PHP functionality, which may fail. And you don't know what would actually fail, but you do know what exceptions can be thrown if it's written in their documentation, in the documentation of those methods. So then you usually catch the specific exception and then proceed with the response for that exception. So in another example from a simple code, if you do just create of eloquent, if you, for example, run task create eloquent statement, it's a quite a small chance that it will fail. So putting try catch here doesn't really make much sense because there is no specific exception to catch. It usually will be validation exception, which should be caught before that. So in most cases, try catch isn't that useful unless you work with some external code which has quite a big probability of failing and which is crucial if that fails, then you need to do some specific actions like showing the error more gracefully or redirect something or log something. So basically process the exception. So with that theory in mind, let's take a look at five examples. First is from routing. This is the core file of routing route of Laravel framework. And it is trying to run the action by your route. So if you put something in the URL, finally it lands here. So it runs controller action or run any action depending on the route. And then that run callable, if we scroll a bit down, it's this one. It's some magic of closure and serialized stuff like that. But finally it tries to return the callable. So basically method name is dynamic. And there's no guarantee that this method will actually exist in your controller in whatever structure. So there's quite a big chance of this failing. And if it fails, then we should catch the exception, which happens to be HTTP response exception created by Laravel itself. And if we trace it a bit down, I found the same exception in the helper abort. So if you call abort 404 or abort 403 or whatever code in your code, it also throws HTTP response exception. Basically the pages that you see on the screen, like 404 not found or something, they are handled by this exception. And generally in Laravel, there's a file called exception handler. If we scroll up foundation exception handler, and there's quite a lot of interesting things happening here. So you can navigate and analyze it in your free time. For example, this thing internal don't report. So what errors or exceptions should not be logged in Laravel log? Did you pay attention that HTTP exception, for example, 404 page is not logged to Laravel log. So here in the list, there are exception classes which are not logged. For example, validation or token mismatch, they are just shown on the page for you visually, but they are not logged in Laravel log. So there's a lot of different logic in that exception handler. It's pretty awesome and deep. But what we care about mostly in this case is render HTTP exception function of that handler. So after all the if statements and internal functions, it comes down to this method, which actually shows the 404 blade or whatever blade with response view, basically handling the exception. So the things that are happening here with catch the exception under the hood, after a lot of operation, it shows 404 on your screen. And this is another reason to use try catch and exceptions, because if the same exception can happen in various places of your application, you may specify a specific logic, how to handle that exception, what page to show, what message to show, what log to fill in with what information and stuff like that, because HTTP response exception is pretty common in Laravel. And I found it in multiple places. So if you have a reusable exception in your application, it's even better. Now, example number two, in the eloquent builder, we have get relation method. And here we try to get the relation method. But again, the method name is dynamic defined by you probably I don't remember where it comes from. But basically, if you load like user with roles, for example, probably this method is called and if it doesn't find the method, then we catch the exception of bad method call exception. And this exception is actually from PHP, not from Laravel. 
so you can find it in the official PHP documentation of bad method call. And then instead of showing the PHP message, we override it with our framework Laravel specific exception of relation not found. And under the hood, there's even more magic happening. There is a trait called forward call to. So it tries to call the method similar to this case. And if it doesn't find the method, again, try catch, same bad method call exception from PHP, or it could be even a PHP error, so it's not only the exception. And then, what is interesting, Laravel tries to find the pattern of error message from PHP using class and method, and if it's not found, then it's just throwing the same error and doesn't care. But if we do find the pattern, then we call our own method of throw bad method called exception, which overrides the original message to call to undefined method. So instead of showing the PHP error, which may be a bit meaningless, Laravel overrides that and shows more Laravel way Laravel error. So that's another way of using exceptions in your application to catch some exceptions from PHP or from Laravel and then override the message and override the behavior with your own custom exceptions. Example number three comes from a trait called has attributes and related to date. So if we need to return a timestamp as date time object, there are quite a few methods that can be called. So if there is an instance of carbon or date time, a lot of if statements, and then at the end of that, we see try catch. So basically, if we don't find the match for any of those cases above, as a fallback, as the final thing, we can try to create the date from carbon. And then if that fails, we catch the exception of invalid argument because that format and value may be whatever. It comes from the user, from yourself, from the developer. So again, we're catching the exception from the core, from PHP, and override that with our behavior, which in this case, it's not throwing another exception, it's just assigning date to false. The fourth example from Laravel framework, I would call it lazy example, lazy exception handling, because it's not handling the specific exception, it's just throwing error if something goes wrong. So there's file put contents, there's JSON encode, so basically all the PHP functions for command PHP artisan down to put the application in maintenance mode, which is fine. So basically it's catching any exception that may happen down the line. So anything can fail file put contents, file get contents, and something related to your file system like is file. If any exception happens there, then the terminal would show you the error of fail to enter maintenance mode and would just pass you the message, whatever message comes from that exception. It's also a valid way to handle the exceptions if you don't know exactly what exception would come from the other end. You could probably spend some time to find that out, but if you are kind of lazy, as I say it, or if there are just too many possible exceptions, in some cases, it's just try catch exception and then do whatever you want with error get message or error code or other properties of the exception object. And finally, example number five, I wanted to show you it's not from Laravel framework, but it's from Stripe Payment Provider API reference. And this is one of the best examples of practical usage of exceptions. So if you try to charge the customer or do something with credit card via Stripe, Stripe may throw different exceptions and every exception has its own logic, its own errors and stuff like that. So here on the right, you see a typical way how you call the Stripe method. So you call the Stripe request and then a lot of different bad things may happen with credit cards, with network requests, with whatever. So card exception, specific card exception, then rate limit exception if too many requests are happening. So it's not even related to the credit card, it's related to your usage of the API. Then invalid request with parameters, authentication, API connection, other exceptions. And then at the end, finally, you just catch a regular exception with something else happened. So every exception just from its name has its own purpose, its own variables, its own messages for handling errors and stuff like that. So Stripe example is probably the best visual way to understand why exceptions are used in the first place. And if you are a developer creating the system for other developers to use, you should probably implement the exceptions. So create your own exception classes with your own messages and handling those exceptions so your colleague developers in the future or the users of your open source project like in Laravel framework case 
would understand it better. What happened, why, and how to catch that. So I hope with this video I've clarified a bit why to use try catch and exceptions, how it is used in Laravel framework. I know it's not really a junior code, it's more like in depth, but sometimes it's really useful to look at advanced examples to understand the exact cases of why some things are used. If you want to support me on my mission of daily videos with more tips like this video, subscribe to the channel and check out one of the three products that you can see on the screen now from myself and my team. And I will continue shooting these daily videos for you on YouTube. See you guys in other videos.